your host for today's episode. So let's dive right into our first segment. The first day of school is for an exciting and important day. Now I am going to Jibin to talk about the school reopening. Thank you, Ashwin. Every first week of June, both the schools reopen. Kindergarten opened on June 1st, and the following day, high school also opened on June 6th. Students enter the school with different emotions. After a long wait of three months, students can finally meet their friends, new class teacher, new subject teachers, and their new classroom. Our first assembly was conducted by our dear principal, Anita Ma'am, who welcomed us all back and also invited new faces to the school. Our driver uncles and aunties had to take an eye checkup as soon as school resumed. On June 5th, we commemorate National Environment Day. So to honor the occasion, our school provided us with some plants to take home and care for. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Father's Day and Muharram are some of the most important occasions in our school. To give us details about the activities that were conducted as part of these events, let's welcome Adindraji C. J. and Joala S. I am Adindraji from Grade 7 Rhapsody. Today I am going to talk about Father's Day activities conducted in Bodhi School. Father's Day was first celebrated in 19 June 1910. Father's Day was first created by Senora Smart Dot. We celebrated Father's Day by making different types of cards according to their ages for their fathers, grandfathers and uncles. Thank you. Over to you, Zwala. Thank you, Alunu. My name is Zwala from Grade 5 Perfect. I'm here to present about the Muharram class and activities done by my schoolmates of all grade systems. Muharram is the first month of Islamic calendar. It is one of four sacred month of the year when welfare is planned. This day commemorates the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, the Prophet of Muhammad's grandson, during the Battle of Karbala in the year 688. As part of the celebration, all students made different types of lamps, lanterns, and lights. Thank you. Yoga and music about activities that bring several benefits to the table. Now I invite Leo to talk about how we conducted yoga and music day in our school. Hello everyone, my name is Leo Sunil and I am from Grade 7 Rhapsody. Today I am excited to share with you the wonderful experience of yoga. Students from all grades participated in this special event. We dedicate time to learn and practice the ancient art of yoga. Yoga is not just about physical postures, it is a holistic practice of the mind, body and spirit. We did postures like tree pose, high lunge pose, butterfly pose and cobra pose. It was heartwarming to see the students help each other. Yoga day was a success leaving everyone refreshed and more connected. We also had our melodious music day. Music speaks what cannot be expressed and he is the heart. In the celebration of music day, we had Ethan Hampstead, Devi Shankar, Adin Rajat, Akshit, Ishan, Aditi Srijit, Janki, Aditi Tulasi, Meha Leo, Joala and Alicia to sing and calm our minds. Music day had came to an end with everyone cheerful and happy. Thank you. Stay tuned. Thank you Leo. Parent-teacher's orientation is a crucial event where our principal, Mrs. Anita Dore Rush, discussed the progress and development of our students. To give us more insight, let's welcome Ishan Minow. Our principal, Andamam, addresses the meeting by telling the parent how to tackle a teenage student and what more. Parents were able to understand that the real development lies not in academics but through behavior. Thank you. The school elections are both an exciting and very important part of the school as it decides who will be the leaders for that entire school. Now, in my Stasha, talk in great detail about the school elections and investiture celebration. Ashwin. Hi everyone, my name is Stasha Ashley Jos and I am from Grade 8 Abitone. Today, I am going to be talking about the 2024-25 elections and investiture ceremony. For starters, our head boy, head girl and sports captain have been selected by the management while the students can vote for the team captains. Before this, we had all gotten self-nomination forms. Then, each one of us were interviewed by seniors. Then we had given speeches in the assembly and then we went out to school for campaigning. The election was held on 27th of June 2024. Here are the candidates of each team. We have three teams, Aqua, K and Terra. And the candidates of Aqua are CRS, Ivana Robin Thomas 
and Manasa Murli. From Kaili we have Shres KP, Jibin Baiju and Aditi Thorasi. From Terra we have Stasha Shrejos, Akshita Vilash and Adin Vijit C. Jayan. The voting results will be announced in July followed by an investiture ceremony. The investiture ceremony took place on the 19th of July coinciding with Bodhi 16th Foundation Day. Now I will be sharing the election results. Let's start off with our head boy, head girl and sports captain. Our head boy is Ashwin L. Kuruk from grade 8. Head girl is Shreya B. Ravindran from grade 8. And sports captain is Aditi Srijit from grade 8. Now moving on to the house captains and vice captains. Our aqua house captain is Marissa Murli from grade 6. And our aqua vice captain is Ivana Robin Thomas from grade 8. Our Terra Vice Captain is Akshit Abhiram 7 and Terra Captain is Tasha Ashley Jones from Grade 8. Our Kaylee Captain is Shreyas KP from Grade 7 and Kaylee Vice Captain is Aditi Todesi from Grade 6. After a week of March Pass practice assisted by our sports sirs, it was time for the investiture ceremony. The sashes and badges were handed out to the leaders by the director and management. Our school has five clubs and the clubs are Music Club, Literary Club, Nature Club, Quiz Club and Theatre Club. So I am going to be announcing those results as well. Even the kids who are nominated to be one of the candidates got a chance to be a club captain. Our Music Club captain is Gia S. Prashant from Grade 6. Our Literary Club captain is Sia S. from Grade 8. Our Nature Club captain is Jibin Baiju from Grade 8. Our Theatre Club captain is Ishan Mino from Grade 7. And our quiz club captain is Atin Trijit CJ from grade 7. Under the guidance of our club heads, these talented students will lead their individual teams and will plan creative events. A huge congratulations to all the newly elected leaders. May your leadership motivate and inspire the youngsters to achieve something great. Thank you for your time and patience. Thank you, Sasha. Moving on, let's talk about one of the most exciting activities which took place. Cooking. To share more about this delicious endeavor, let's welcome Elisha and Badra. Good morning, Good morning everyone. My, and my name is Elisha Hansen. My name is Badra Endless. And we, we are, are from Grade 5 Covid. Today, I want to share about one of our school's activities, cooking. Every month, we have cooking from kindergarten to 10th grade. We choose healthy options to cook. Recipes vary from easy to hard according to the age groups. In June, the cooking topic was salad. We all enjoyed making different types of salads. We also learned the math behind cooking as our teachers tell us about the measurements of the ingredients we use. We also learned the science behind cooking as our teachers tell us which water the ingredients we use. Thank you. For July month, all of the classes made different types of soups. Grade 1 and 2 made tomato soup. Grade 3 and 4 made carrot soup. Grade 5, 6, 7 made delicious vegetable soup. And finally, grade 8, 9 and 10 made yummy broccoli soup. I hope everyone tried it at home. Thank you. Colotsam is a group of activities that help students foster new talents and hone the remaining ones. Now I invite Avantika to talk about the Kalotsam programs in great detail. Good morning all. I am Avantika from Grade 6 G. Today I want to talk about Kalotsam, one of Bodhi's co-curricular competitions held at the end of June during school hours. Kalotsam's aim is to encourage children to explore their skills, do their best and understand the essence of healthy competitions. It includes events for all grades, even KG, with activities like drawing, light music, essay writing, poster making, and jam speaking on a topic. Competition details are sent out a week in advance, helping us prepare. They are held in English, Malayalam, or Hindi. The prize distribution was held on 31st July, Wednesday, in which certificates and trophies were given out to the winners of every class, KG to grade 10. In conclusion, Kalutsa helps us to explore the world of art and creativity, get rid of fear and shyness, and gain confidence to speak or perform in public. This is why participation is made compulsory for all students. Thank you. Midterms are just around the corner. To delineate more about this crucial part of the academic year, let's welcome Neeraj S. Hello everyone. I am Neeraj S. from Grade 7, Rhapsody. Today, I am going to say about 
the midterm and exams which started on 22nd July and ended on 30th July. These exams are conducted to ensure that the students are understanding what is being taught in class and to see how many students are learning their daily portions and paying attention in class. By these exams, teachers will get an idea on how to tackle the students. Thank you. Our school has a credit and debit system. There are top scholars for the people that get the highest credit in each class. Now I invite GIS Prasad to talk about the top scholars of this class. Hi, good morning. My name is GIS Prashant. I'm studying in grade 6 KT. Today, I am here to tell the top scorers of the month, June and July. Top scorers are the people who won the more credit points for the month. They are gifted a badge and an activity book which they can keep throughout the year. They earn credit points because of their behavior, the way they show respect to each other, the way they complete the task that they are assigned to, etc. As we come to the end of today's episode, I would like to thank our students for their valuable insight and also a big thanks to our audience. Stay tuned for more updates. It's me Ashwin and Shreya with Cameraman Jibin signing off.